Hi everybody, it's Eugene Lisho, and I'd like to show you a little bit about scene process and how you can register scans. Um, earlier I had spoken about scene capture and scene process in another video introducing the freestyle, and now I want to show you a little bit about how you can do the alignment. So scene capture is for really just capturing the data. It doesn't do a lot more uh, except for a few little things, but scene process is where you could use, you could actually use it on a tablet, and you can align and register scans, do some white balance, there's some additional tools that you can use here. So what I've done here is I have a scan of a set of stairs and I've gone um, in two directions. I've scanned up the stairs and if I double click on the second scan, uh, I've scanned going down the stairs. So I've got some, uh, obviously some missing um, parts here uh, because of line of sight or whatever. And the way we do that here, there's just a button called uh, place if I want to do the alignment and it brings up a sort of a split uh, a couple of windows here. So on the left is my reference scan or the scan that they consider placed. On the right would be the list of scans. And I only have two scans, so uh, but there would be more on the uh, right-hand side here that I could choose to uh, align to scan one. So uh, I'm good there. So what I'm going to do is just hit the next step. And this will bring up a split screen. And I'm going to align the scans in the viewport so that they're kind of close to one another, like that. And I'll do the same with this other scan, and it might take a little bit of manipulation to get it there, uh, but I'm getting close here. Okay, so something like this. I think that's relatively close, and that'll get me what I need here. So um, what I will do is choose the um, marking a scan point. You can choose spheres, checkerboards, planes, but I'm just going to choose the checkerboards. And I'm going to pick a few points here. So I'm going to pick this spot up here, and the one scan, pick the corresponding point. It doesn't need to be exact. It just needs to be close. I'll pick another one here, and I'll pick the same corresponding point here. And I'll pick one over on this post here, uh, and that's about here or so. And if everything uh, starts to sort of uh, correspond. You'll see down here it says correspondence is three. And if I look at my point numbers, point one, point one, they all start corresponding. So I don't need too much more. There's enough there to stick the two together. So I'm going to hit next step. And you'll see that it starts to say, okay, we're going to place these scans based on those correspondences. And then it just sort of snaps together. Now, I, it opens up a correspondence view. And on the right here, it says, hey, your mean scan point distance was 2.55. Okay, that's pretty good. And, you know, does everything look correct? And I'm going to say, yes, it does. And then you can, if you had more scans here, you could uh, choose which ones you wanted to reference. Now, or align. I'm going to hit close and get back into the 3D view. And let me adjust the pivot point here. And you can see that the scans are aligned. The two scans are together. And they are um, registered pretty easily there. So that's all I wanted to show, how you would register multiple scans together with a scene process.